Hi there, thank you for tuning in Global Study Alliance. My name is Dylan. I'm one of the immigration consultants at Admission Hub. And joining us today is Cambrian Hansen, school representative. Heather, Heather, how's it going? Uh, hi, everybody. Uh, hi, everyone. This is Heather from Cameron Hansen. Um, I'm very good. Thank you, Dylan. Um, I'm in charge of the South East Asia students for international student recruitment specialist. Uh, also, I cover Europe and the Africa students recommend as well. So, yeah, thank you for this uh, for this activities. I love that. And joining us today, we also have Simram. She is from Admission Hub, one of the student advisor, senior student advisor from Admission Hub. Simran, how's it going? Great. How about you guys? Very good. Thank you. Thank you. How's everyone doing with this pandemic season? You know, um, I know a lot of students, they're all like wanted to to start their school program. Um, so today we're having the header from Cambridge Hansen to give us some updates about their school information, you know, what kind of programs, what kind of new uh, new programs that they're having, and uh, what are the, uh, the updates for their September intake. And as even though if you're inside Canada, is it still possible to apply for a Cambrian Hansen? If you're overseas, are you able to study online or not? We, today, we're going to answer all of the questions. Uh, so, so okay, Heather, so tell me about Cambrian Hansen before we go into the slides. You know what, Cambrian Hansen is um, is uh, providing a public uh, programs for all the international students, dedicated for international students. We do not accept any local students because we knew international students better. We knew their difficulties when they're studying, when they're living here in Canada, and uh, so that we can provide support and help to them accordingly. Our international students love us a lot because they can balance their life, their study, uh, like when they working or studying in Canada, yeah. Perfect. Okay. So um, without further ado, I'm going to uh, give the floor so you can give us some presentation about Cambrian Hansen. And later on, Simran will be asking you some questions on behalf of the students. And then I'll provide uh, some immigration related uh, topics. And if you guys have any immigration related questions, feel free to ask me. So I'm going to turn the floor to Heather. Thank you. Okay, here I'm going to give a little bit of introduction of Cameron Hansen, and that's a start, your future today. Um, move to the next slide. Uh, so first of all, some history about Cameron Hansen. Um, so Cameron College, uh, actually Hansen is starting with a high school in two, uh, 2001. Uh, and, but in 2005, Hansen started working with Cameron, Cameron College as the first uh, public private college uh, like institution providers in Ontario. And this will allow us to know better of the uh, international student, provide more support and the uh, uh, courses for interna international students as well. Now Cameron Hansen have three campuses uh, in Ontario and uh, British Columbia. In but British Columbia, we have come, uh, Vancouver and uh, Ontario have North Shore campus, which is a Toronto campus and Brampton campus. Yeah, here we go. Thank you, Dylan. And, uh, but why you want to study in Cameron Hansen instead of other colleges? First of all, all of our campuses are very close to public transit uh, uh, centers. Either way, the, the subway station or the, the, the bus station. So for you, if you don't have a car, you have don't have a private vehicle, that's fine. You can take the TTC or the, uh, public transit. That's not a problem. And also, we understand that the international students, they do have a difficulties uh, like handling time when their like, studying schedule is too hot or too, uh, like a, too big. For, the, for us, we provide students a two to three days uh, like a study schedule per week so that they can balance their life and study more front, more better. So it's a life study friendly like the schedules. And also most of us students love this very much. And do we understand that for the overseas student, they have 20 hours uh, per week there for their on-site or all, uh, on, on campus or off campus or work. Uh, so when they choose to do so, when their study schedule is too big, they cannot arrange their uh, their working life to, altogether or even if they have a, a family members they're taking care of in Canada, it will hard for them to arrange their times. And then with our flexible two or three days a week uh, study schedule, they'll feel more comfortable. 
And also because our program is dedicated for international students only, so we knew them, we, we can support them better. And also, uh, most of our programs provide co-op or working placement for our student to take. So when the student have some employment experience, when they're studying uh, in the college as part of a program, they will feel much more confidence like uh, when they go to the real working place. And also those will help them to increase the possibility of getting uh, employment after their graduation. And also um, all the program is provided to the, uh, from uh, Cambrian uh, College. So those are the public college programs. And this means the student will get a maximum of three years postgraduate work permit after their graduation. And also we knew that the study is not the only thing that the student will have. So having fun when they're studying and know better of Canada, know better of Canadian cultures and activities will be part of our job to get the students to know them. So we provide a various of student activities for our students to, 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 to take. And most of those activities are for free or very little charges to them. And also, uh, most of as most of the colleges provide the programs like a two uh, intakes or three intakes per semester for the main in, uh, for the main intake or spring intake is not a mandatory one but for us so we can provide a full year whole year like around the student intake uh, which means like for the two two years programs we can we can support students to finish it within 16 months which means like a student can finish a two years program within one and a half year so student can can really have this fast tr uh, fact, uh, fast track yes yeah so it's actually very very good so i want to quickly quick, uh, quickly recap with you about mm -hmm. the unique points about uh cambrian college because yep. you mentioned about the public transportation it's because i've been to cambrian college before it's yep. actually really close by downhill station right exactly <laughs> View campuses for those people who are not currently in Toronto. You know, uh, Toronto is a huge city, and you yeah. have you know nearby cities, right? So Cambrian College have a few campuses in the nearby cities, and also you mentioned about you know the the life study friendly because a lot of students they chose uh, Cambrian, I think because they really like to have the opportunity to work extra time, right? Yes. So, that become a unique selling point. So can you give me an example about what's a typical, you know, schedule for the Cambrian College? Mm -hmm. Sure, not a problem. Let me give you an example of this a flexible a special uh, uh, schedules for the students. For example, we have a general business um, for the first semester. And we will give all create four, three groups of the students uh, schedules for the student to choose. Uh, take the one, the first group that as an example, we will offer students a two days, uh, no, three half days study. Uh, it's Monday, Tuesday, and um, Thursday, morning time from 8.30 to afternoon time to 2.30, all three days. So when the student handle their schedule, they knew, hey, after the three half days working, I can do whatever I want. Maybe I can have some more social lives. Uh, with the friends or relatives like in, in Canada, or I can have some works. So, you know, employers love their students, they love in, uh, uh, employees to have more firm schedules when they're talking about the uh, rotation of the employment. So that's pretty good for the student to, to have more opportunities to get employment. Yeah. yeah. I have one more question. Sorry, go ahead. I wanted to ask that, is this the program schedule, like the, the, the flexible schedule which you mentioned, is it for all the programs or is it for any, 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 there are different schedules for different programs? Maybe different this is, a, this actually is applied to all of the programs. So, so all of the program have like a three half days, maybe it's three morning time, maybe three afternoon time, maybe one morning time and the two afternoon times, but the, they're always like a three days three half days actually. So the student will have the schedule at the beginning uh, before, when they make the registration. So so there's the one or two months for the student to schedule their life by the start of the program. Yeah. Perfect. And um, I think one of the most important thing for Cambrian Hanson is student, they're studying in Toronto, yeah. but they are still able to get a Cambrian college diploma. Right. Exactly. Yes, you're right. That being said, they'll be able to get a postgraduate work permit. 
Exactly. And also, we could understand that the Cambrian College, the main campus in Sudbury, which is uh, which is uh, like a small town. Uh, but uh, but meanwhile, can, uh, Sudbury is one of the I R and I P cities, right? It's if the students want to apply, but in but it's for migration related uh, more. But uh, Talking about employment rate or pop opportunity, Toronto, I mean, GTA, great Toronto areas, there's more, much more opportunities for the international student to get in terms of part-time job or full-time job. Yeah. Right, right, right. Okay, I'm going to go back the floor to you and you can continue to let us know more about Cambrian College. How's that? Sure. Great. Yeah, sure. No problem. So we realized that the students, when the students come here and sometimes they really miss their family members or sometimes even the mom or even the students is a mom or dad, um, they want to come here and bring more opportunity for their young kids. So we really assist our, uh, assist our students to bring more family members here. Taking, as a, uh, taking one thing as an example, um, so we have some students at their 30s, um, age of 30s, so they have their kids, but they can come here and study with us and their kids can enjoy a free um, school, like a public school education in Canada. This is a policy of the Canadian education and also their, their spouse can have the uh, open work permit, which means like well, this is really good for their for their family members to all work together or 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 all grow through together. Like in Canada, when when one of the uh, person family members studying in uh, Canada and move to another stage. Um, here's Linda sharing some of the programs that we we'll provide in the three campuses. And we have, as I mentioned before, we have three campuses. Ontario, there's one is uh, Toronto campus and Brampton campus. As our campus is not very big, uh, the program is not really, uh, not many as well. But most of the program is more for practical uh, practical learning and uh, and employment target to programs. Taking this, uh, we can look into North York campus uh, as um, at the first beginning. Let's see, we have diploma programs, like a two diploma programs. One is general business, and the second one is travel and tourism. The general business is very easy for the student to either find a job after the graduation or travel and tourism. Uh, can be easy to find uh, employment as well. But more than that, general business can help the student transfer uh, to another universities when they're pursuing a bachelor degree after their graduation in the in the college. So uh, some of the students will choose like to, to transfer to uh, York University or Large University or some other, say, Western uh, University if they want. But for the travel and tourism, I mentioned that is uh, uh, it's easy to find a job after graduation. And further, on the fourth semester, the last semester of studying, the student will have eight weeks of uh, of work uh, of employment placement. And with this employment placement, the student can easily get a job afterwards. And also, we have four postgraduate certificates: small education, business analysis, IT business analysis, international business, and organization management. As you can see, we provided like one or two years and three semesters or two semesters. It depends on what kind of a program you're looking for, or the length of program you, you're looking for. Uh, taking organization management as example, like a two semesters of study will allow students to, to get a to one year postgraduate certificate after their graduation. But for the two years uh, 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 postgraduate certificate, the student can still get a uh, three years postgraduate work permit as well. And also uh, talking about this program, the student will, when we're talking about two years program, the student will have to finish it within like a four semesters. And for the first two semester, the student will have the co coursework. For the next two semesters, the student will have the co-op semester. So which means like the student will have like eight months of working experience. And also for this program, um, even the co-op period of time, the students like uh, income, annual income is pretty high, like uh, more than 30 to 40,000 a year. And Brampton campus, we have the similar ones, general business and ho uh, hotel and restaurant management. Hotel and restaurant management, similar to travel and tourism we have, uh, we have half of the semesters 
uh, work placements in the last semester, and the rest of tuitions, uh, cloud computing, uh, international business, we uh, human resource management. The student will get a co-op in the middle of uh, their semester or as an individual semester. So the student will have more knowledge of uh, what they what in the what is the employment. Uh, uh, is look like and what the work placement the workplace is look like and further the most important part as we know finding a job is not really easy for the international students so this is a, a cultural differences like between see taking my example like uh, my my experience like in china the employment so like the way to find a new job is totally different so how can we do this we'll learn it during with we 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 we're doing the work placement and admission requirement, let's, let's move this part. So we have, because we have two different programs, one is diploma program, another one is postgraduate certificate programs. For the, high, for the diploma program, we will need the student to finish at least the high school uh, high school uh, uh, certificate uh, uh, programs first. So we'll need the student to finish grade 11 mathematics and grade 12 English, so which means like high school documentations, uh, see high school graduate certificate and transcript. And um, and if the student do have, if, if you're from overseas, of course you're from overseas, <laughs> you have to provide any uh, language requirement. And for the post secondary program, uh, um, different from the other colleges, we accept the students who finished the two years uh, graduation certificates or diplomas like in their home country. For the other college, as far as I know, they were accepted like a three years diplomas, but we do accept a two years diploma applying for the postgraduate certificate. And with this, it is fine. Uh, so we have also, uh, for the international student, we also require student, require student to meet the language proficiency. So we do accept a student to have, uh, accept IELTS, uh, TOEFL, um, Duolingo, um, yes, this kind of like a, a standard English proficiency. So if the student prefer to prepare their English like in Canada, we do offer, we do offer different pathways for the student to take. Uh, to take the EAP or UPP uh, from the other credits so like a pathway uh, private language schools. And also if we have any students now currently be in Canada, they have some experience of studying in Canada. We also require students to have, have those documents prepared to prove their study life in Canada as a continuous study with us in Cameron Hansen. And talking about the English proficiency requirements, because we have different, uh, we have two kinds of program, one's diploma for IELTS, we'll have uh, required as a 6.0 with no band lower than 5.5. And for postgraduate certificate, the overall is 6.5 with no band lower than 6.0. But because for the postgraduate certificate, students will have uh, more difficulty uh, programs comparing with uh, the diploma programs. And also for the Duolingo um, that you can take online, as you can see, it's different. One is like a below 110, another one is above 115. And also, we accept a different uh, like a language pathway patterns so by ILAC, uh, which you will have their presentations uh, in the recent two days. Uh, and we have WTC is a Western Town College. We have a language study of international uh, and uh, um, RCIIS. So just you can try to find uh, whichever you feel familiar with, you feel comfortable with, like when you're studying there. Uh, and also, Hanson Language School is, is is another option that you can take. So let me introduce you some uh, multiculturalism like in Cameron Hansen. Um, we have the student from India, from China, Pakistan, South Korea, uh, uh, Latin America, so Russia, Iran, Brazil, a Vietnam student, Philippines, and South Africa. Most of those students will choose North York campus, um, maybe because North York campus or Toronto campus uh, is uh, it's more close to center of Toronto, and the, the people living in 
in, in North Oak area, uh, area is more uh, multiculturalism as well. So you will feel much more comfortable. You can find your friends so with the similar culture and also you can enjoy the different, enjoy the difference, um, you know, between the cultures or among cultures, and also as a as a celebration of different cultures. So we we do provide all kind of activities to celebrating different special days in each individual cultures. So student, you will feel like when the student come uh, study in campus, you will feel, hey, why there's like. A, uh, food or, or activities or celebrations every week or every other week. What's the matter? Well, that's because we want our students to celebrate their culture. They remember their culture. They knew the cultures uh, very well because that is the thing that you will encounter to when you when you move to the next stage of employment. I mean, in the employment environment, you will have you will have your colleagues from different cultures. So you will know their cultures ahead of time before you encounter any difficulties. So here is some of the tuitions list. I know that the, the words is very small, uh, but our tuition is um, the average tuition Per semester is 8,500. It depend, uh, depends on different uh, programs. You will have the different uh, tuition structures. And for the co op, as you can see, the co op semester is uh, $1,500. Uh, $1, uh, it's uh, for so it's uh, more application. It's tuition is very small, but the students have a very large potential to get a better job in the future. And if, especially for the IT business analysis, when you see the tuition is three uh, thirty five hundred, that means half of the semester they have uh, the co op, and half of the semester they will have the coursework. So, how to apply for admission? So we will see it's agency, school, student, school, and students. So, so we're going to working all together to bring you here studying in Cameron Hansen. So first of all, you need to contact your agent first, um, and you need to help them um, collect the complete application package and just to uh, provide whatever document that your agent will request because whatever your re agent is requesting is, is whatever the college will requesting. And then after the agent helped you pre finish preparing application package, they will submit the application package to the school and the school will start evaluation and then finalize your application and issue the offer letter. And the duration of this agent uh, agent submission, uh, uh, the application to the student issue offer letter, the duration will be like two to three weeks. You will have the offer letter in two to three weeks after you complete your uh, application package. And after that, students will use the offer letter, applying their study permit. So based on the ARCC's requirements, the student will pay the first semester's tuition. And after the payment, we will issue the student to make the final uh, offer letter and the confirmation of payment to supporting the student to apply for the study visa, study permit and the visa. And after that, the study, uh, after student applied for the study visa, and the student will wait, we will wait until the student gets the study permit approved. And at that time, student will e be easy to start to their program by registering their program, choose their, uh, their groups or choose their special schedules so that they can start their study here. And also, uh, we could understand if you want to know more of what the campus look like and uh, what does the classroom look like? Here is something that we can share with you. We will get a virtual tour of our campuses. You just go online, search Hanson College or Hanson Canada, and we have a virtual tour for our campuses and classes, classrooms. You can see what is this college look like. And also every other week we we'll provide the students a open uh, open house, a virtual open house, introducing uh, more about uh, Cameron Hansen. So if you're interested in it, just uh, go uh, search Canada Hansen, we'll provide you more details. So I'll share some uh, some pictures of uh, of uh, our classrooms and our of our faci uh, uh, facilities. Here is the Mac Lab. 
uh, for the for the mob application development program. So all of the program was de delivered with Mac, and all all the all the facilities provided was Apple. And uh, the students, um, all the campuses, the campuses are pretty large for comparing with uh, with those number of the students. And the students can work together in one class room with different cultures. And the top one is convocation of 2019. And uh, like uh, more than uh, 800 students graduated, they invited to, with the support of Kimber and Hansen, they invited their family members attending the ceremony and uh, get their get their certificates or diplomas and start their moving forward, starting their uh, future life as an employee. And this is the pictures of uh, three campuses. Um, the left corner one is Brampton campus and the, the right one is the Vancouver campus, which is uh, very close to the river and the scene is very beautiful. The, the, the lower one is, is a North Star campus. And also I talked about the student activities before and all the student activities is provided the settled by student service. So not only those student activities, the student service also can help the student with their health insurance, uh, with uh, their enrollment letter, with their invitation uh, letter to their family members or with their transcript to uh, transcript to uh, 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 our requirements. So if the student need all the documents, the student service will provide them help. And uh, if if you want if you want to study between the two different campuses, we also need to, to uh, need, we also provide students a shuttle bus uh, to transit uh, to have this uh, two campuses transit with each other. And also uh, we provide the students to see um, a Quebec trip in every every semester i think the cost for each quebec trip is like 40 or 60 dollars the student can have fun in quebec city uh in quebec montreal for two days and also we provide students a blue mountain ski trip for every winter time we provide student yoga and cooking classes we have uh, um, lunar new year celebration providing students uh, uh, free food or diwali or yeah holding or, or or christmas time so the student can always get free food free gifts or lucky draw gifts from the campus in the campus and also in the winter time some cho hot chocolate days just want to make sure that our students to enjoy their study with us, they are, they feel like at home when they're studying with us. Here are some activities, which uh, uh, photos that we should uh, for students. So the students have this uh, um, like a lake a boating and uh, some um, uh, yes in the summertime barbecue. Uh, I was a uh, hot dog, a burger. It's all free for the student to take. Actually, it's very happy. And also, uh, as administrators or faculties, all of people in, is uh, like attending and enjoying the free food. Yeah. So Cameron Hansen, we are a very big team supporting all international students and help them to complete their dream in Canada, uh, starting as an international student and uh, advance to the migration in the future if they choose so. So I know, we know that to study is only a pathway for their future. We help them, we hope that our, our support can help them better prepare for their futures. I cannot hear you. Dylan, hi. Hi. Oh, so, hey, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What I was trying to say is that was a very good presentation. Uh, I'm sure that all of us we know now we know about Cambrian College now. So we have talked about our QA session. Uh, Sarah, do you have any questions regarding the Cambrian Hands? And I know your students are very diverse. 
from yeah. Jordan, they're from Russia, they're from, you know, uh, Middle East, of course, a lot of India, you know, Sri Lankan students as well. So uh, ask uh, Heather some of the most commonly asked questions from your students. Okay, so during this time of pandemic, a lot of students are very confused about the online classes because this is the first time this is happening. So they are very curious to know the, how the online classes are going to run. So if you can tell us something more about that. Yes, I think this is uh, this is the point that is not uh, avoidable, actually. Uh, yeah. You're right. Uh, most of our program is provided on online. You know, uh, so, uh, ever since the first day of the pandemic, uh, mm -hmm. we started our online program delivered to the student directly. Uh, comparing uh, the other colleges spend like one week to run the online program. We run the online program at the second day of this pandemic. So we so we want to like uh, influence and the students like uh, study life here, uh, but uh, starting from uh, September intake will provide online as well. Only mm -hmm. one program will not be provided online because it requires special facilities, which is uh, uh, cloud computing. Okay. That one requires special facilities, so we cannot support online. So students have to come uh, come to Canada. But uh, for the online programs, um, for the, especially for the first semester student, we knew that the student will having have some difficulties with handling different softwares provided by the schools. We understand that. So at the first uh, uh, at the first quarter of the program, which means which is like the, the three four weeks, uh, we will not give a lot of like uh, works like for the students all the students is learning how to use those softwares they can download the powerpoint and just uh, do the assignment as far as they do the assignment they will be marked their attendance will be marked as well so we we know that online study is not easy and uh, also we have this online support at all the time and if the student have any difficulties when they study online they can just send e shoot an email to the instructors or to the academic departments administrators. We will help them accordingly. So for those, um, um, as per our experience in the winter intake and the experience when the May intake, the students is working very well. And actually, I looked into uh, some some uh, students of mine. Um, their GPA is pretty good. I asked their experience of the online study. They said it's good. At the first beginning, it's not easy, but as far as moving forward and learn how to do it, and learn how to use the software, everything is fine. Yeah, their GPA is pretty good. And uh, I also want to add on this part. So a lot of students might be um, wondering if they are able to join the Cambrian College September intake from overseas, uh, from the immigration uh, CIC or IRCC perspective. So uh, government Canada already, uh, announced uh, two stages, you know, two uh, stages approach for uh, study permits. So if you're currently overseas and you want to start your program this September, okay, you're okay to study overseas with the online program, and this will not affect your PGWP eligibility, okay? So for example, if you're studying for a uh, two years program that we talk about mobile application, right, Heather? That program is a one year study and one year co-op, and you only pay approximately 1,500 for the co-op. So the entire year, you're approximately paying $3,000. So you can actually study overseas you know, and when you come to Canada, you just have to finish the remaining amount of the studies and then you'll be eligible to apply for three years postgraduate work permits. OK, uh, I know uh, overseas visa office right now, if you look at a CIC processing time uh, in India, uh, in Philippines, you know, some other country right now, the processing time is actually more than 10 weeks. Okay, that's because government of the Canada they shut down temporarily shut down the visa centers in terms of biometric. Okay, so for those countries, you know, uh, you're not able to do biometric, but still, government will approve your study permit in principle. Meaning that once they approve your study permit, you don't have to get a study permit physically. You can start counting your study hours for the future studies. Meaning you will still be able to get a postgraduate permit. Yes. 
Uh, Simran, do you have any other questions regarding the student admissions? Uh, most commonly asked question from your clients? Study permit inside Canada. If they're not able to get their study permit due to this situation, uh, Dylan, I think you can tell me about that, that if they haven't got their study permit, can they still start their studies? And to Heather, I have the question that like you were telling about the language test, that if they don't have the study permit, uh, they cannot take the language test. So well, how we can help those students who are still waiting for the study permit, they're inside Canada, but uh, they're not able to, uh, they're waiting for, you know, the season, yeah. Yeah. So uh, to answer your questions, if, if for a national who, are, who is currently on a visa visa in Canada, uh, as long as they uh, uh, meet the requirements and then they will be able to apply study permit inside Canada. And by law, if you apply inside Canada, you don't have to wait until your visa is approved. You can continue studies. Okay, so that this is a really, really great option for people who are currently inside Canada with the visa visa status, okay? And the second question I think you mentioned earlier, it's about um, the students, if they want to take the online test, am I right? Yes, the English so, uh, yeah, so I mean, it's for Cambrian, I can speak for Cambrian, but I'm, I'm sure if, if, if students, they're able to take their online test, you know, and meet the requirements, they'll be able to get into the school directly, am I right? Uh, well, actually, it depends on the situation. If the student do have a valid study permit, we will provide online English test for the student to pass it. But the thing is that if the student don't have a valid study permit or submit the study permit already, but not get any uh, approval result yet, we're not afford. We're not able to issue that online English permit test. Unfortunately, yes. yes. But the thing is that when the students holding a visitor visa, they apply for the study permits, the submitted application for the study permit, they actually they need to re meet the um, prerequisite course, finish the prerequisite course first, right? Well, yeah. to my understanding, that prerequisite course is a language course. So in that case, the students do have met the requirement already. They do not need the um, the the online test at all. Yeah. Okay, because we this, we have some students who are actually currently holding a work permit in Canada, but they're still uh, planning to study. So that oh. scenario is also there. Brad so, and Dylan can oh. give us information yeah. about that. So yeah, so I, I'm sure, I mean, from my uh, practice many years, many years experience, so work permits, uh, students are able to apply, they're changing their status from work permit to study permit. And this is all can be done within Canada through the Canadian visa office in mm -hmm. Edmonton. Yes. Okay. For yeah, for us, if the students if the student have a work permit, they can apply for the Cameron Hanson College. We will issue them the conditional offer letter, and uh, the student student can use that offer letter apply their study permit. As far as their study permit get approved, we can mm -hmm. issue the student uh, the online English placement placement test. The student can make the registration after the test. Okay, I think that pretty much clarifies my question. I have yeah. one more question for you, Heather. Uh, yeah. If students, because right now, you know, because of pandemic, students face some sort of financial difficulties as well. So uh, they've been requesting us to give some sort of payment plans or maybe they can make a partial payment now and then they can pay the remaining amount later. So do you have something to say about that? Is Cambrian offering some sort of, Cambrian Hanson offering some sort of facilities like that? Uh, yes, we do. Well, actually, we have a lot of Indian, uh, Indian students. We have a lot of like uh, Bangladesh students. Mm -hmm. They do have encountered some financial difficulties. So we totally support them. Therefore, um, normally, um, the previous uh, policy, the student need to pay in full before they make the registration. Yeah. But for the current semester, I mean, for the September intake, we do accept the student to pay a minimum of 5000 uh, mm -hmm. And to, so that we can allow students to make the registration and they start the program mm -hmm. and the, our registrars will help them to settle up a payment plan for the balance of the tuition and the student will feel more relaxed so when they're studying and preparing for the balance of the tuition. Yeah. Okay, I think that's great. Um, I think for me it's pretty much 
I think Heather has clarified um, almost everything. So it's a it's a it's good information. Thank you so much for that. Sure. Yeah. So um, so let's say if we have students, you know, our Global Study Alliance member, if they have students, they want to apply. Uh, if you want to apply for a Cambrian College, you can contact your agency located in your countries. Uh, right now, for example, if you're <clears throat> excuse me, if you're located in Mexico, in Brazil, in Chile, in Ecuador, in Panama, in Russia, in Spain, Taiwan, then you can contact these recognized agencies to help you to apply to Cambrian and Hansen. And if you are currently located inside Canada. Okay, and then you can apply through a mission hub. A mission hub, um, how many markets do you guys do at Simran? So we have a lot of markets right now. Mm -hmm. So including, we have a number of countries in South Asia and as in that, that we have, we also have students from, you know, Bahamas and Trinidad and um, Algeria and Morocco. And we have students from Lebanon, we have Iran, you know. Perfect. So yeah, so if you're currently located inside Canada, you can contact Admission Hub. And if you're located outside Canada, you can contact these agencies and then they will be helping for the study permits applications as well as for the school applications. Mm -hmm. And also I would like to add another thing, supporting uh, Admission Hub and supporting all the agents so the connective, uh, will connect with uh, activity to this fair. So all the students, if they're overseas, so we will not charge education fees for those ever overseas applications uh, from your network. And for the inland the Canada applications, so we will wipe their application fees as well. So any student, they go to Admission Hub applying for September intake or, or January 2021 intakes, they will be wiped off for application fee. Yeah. That's great. Perfect. So this is a very good news actually. So you mentioned about you're going to waive the application fee for not only Admission Hub, but also all the Global Study Alliance member, meaning exactly. you know, in Spain, over the rainbow, in Russia, Canada in touch, in Mexico, where to go, in Brazil, uh, the yes in the Cambio and the EF for Chile, and uh, in Panama, experience overseas, in Ecuador, language connect Ecuador, and in Taiwan, the ADM, and of course in Canada, a mission hub. So uh, any final comments for the future students who want to apply for a Cambrian uh, Hansen? Do you have any no, no, totally. <laughs> Do you have any final comments for future potential students who want to come to Cambrian? Um, you know what? Um, um, we hope that if you're interested in Cameron Hansen and if you want to start uh, your study life with Cambrian Hansen, we recommend you to do it as quick as possible because for each intake, our recruitment numbers are really limited. We cannot uh, keep this open at all the time. So if you're thinking about that, um, start to make the action. Perfect. And what about you, Simran? Do you have any comments or I just have a quick question for Heather. Is there any yep. deadline to apply? Um, I won't set time. any deadline because I want I want every per, uh, every individual applications to be settled. Um, mm -hmm. So just to do as quick as possible. And if uh, for the recent um, for September intake uh, by the middle of August, mm -hmm. um, I will open the channel for all of you. But after the middle of August, uh, just ask me if, if you have any more applications. Let me know. I'll try to arrange. I'll try to settle down. Mm -hmm. So according to you, this is the perfect time to apply for fall 20 intake. Yeah. Uh, so anybody who's interested to apply, so I would recommend them to apply like in few days so that they're able to get the seed on the time and they can actually start studying it can be enhancing. Yeah. And also I can, I kind of can confirm when the application package mm -hmm. is done, we mm -hmm. can get the offer letter within one week just to make sure that you will not miss anything like for September intake. We want you to start your registration as soon as possible so that you can prepare better. That's great. Perfect. So if, again, if you're interested in applying, please apply through our recognized agent. And if you have any question regarding immigration, you can also send us a message through the Global Study Alliance page. And once again, thank you, Heather, for joining us today. And thank you, Simran, for joining us today. And uh, I will look forward to seeing you guys very soon. Thank you. Thank you, Admission, for this opportunity, <laughs> knowing all of you. <laughs>